What's up, YouTube? Your boy back once again with another sport topic. And today we are doing another episode of Division by Predictions. And today we're going to do the NFC North. USA Today has the NFC North like this. They have the Packers winning 12-4, and winning the division at 12-4. and They have the Vikings coming in second place of the division at 9-7. and They have the Bears coming in third place at 5-11. and And they have the Lions coming in at last place at 5-11. and It must mean they have them losing by a tiebreaker. That's how they have their division. This is how I have mine. I have the Bears coming in last place at 3-13. and 13. I mean, three games is hard to predict. They probably could end up winning more than three games. But I think the Bears is going to be one of these bad teams. The Bears, the Jets, the Browns, the 49ers. I think these teams are going to be bad teams. Now, the, now the Bears are in a different situation because the Bears are not tanking. I think the Jets... The uh, the 49ers and the Browns are going to be tanking for quarterbacks. The Bears got their quarterback in Trubisky. And either he's going to play or he's not. Yeah, I think either way it go, I don't see them winning that many games. I, I think the Bears are not a good football team as of right now. I don't think they really have too much around them. So I, I don't see them I don't see them winning no more than five games. But I'm going to have them going in at five. I mean, I'm going to have them going 13-3. and three. Third in division, I have the Vikings going 8-8. Eight eight. Um... I don't know if if it's going to be. I don't know how much um, Sam Bradford is going to play. I don't know if Teddy's ever going to be ready by at least by this year. And really, I don't trust Sam Bradford. I know they started off last year hot at uh, five and uh, five and zero, oh, but I, I think they went like nine and seven, eight and eight last year. Like they did not win that many games after they after the five and zero oh stretch, and that team just really fell out. So I don't really see. I don't really see them come away with a winning record, so I'm thinking they're going to be 8-8. Eight eight. They're going to be a mediocre type squad and coming in third in the division. The Lions are different. So the Lions, 9-7. The Lions almost won the division. The Lions lost the division at the end of the season last year. So I think the Lions have a – not a good team. They have a pretty decent team. I think they can squeeze out nine wins. I know they don't have Megatron. They didn't have Megatron last year, but it was kind of addition by subtraction because now they didn't have to. Stafford didn't have to force the ball to Megatron. He could spread the ball out and spread a little bit more. He he didn't feel so shoehorned. I have to get the ball to Megatron. That's the person I have to get the ball to. So he feels better. He could spread the ball around. It actually worked out better for him. And I think they could get nine wins after the season. I think they'd be nine and seven. And then the Packers, twelve and four, is Aaron Rodgers, and Tom Brady might be the best quarterback. In the NFL, but Aaron Rodgers is the most talented, like physically gifted. He's the most physically gifted quarterback. Tom Brady is the best cerebral quarterback. He beats you with your mind. I mean, with his mind, he knows what to do. He, he, like, he nothing phases him. Aaron Rodgers has the most physical talent. He has the better arm, the mobility, and all, all the good stuff. So I think that he would definitely get the Packers to double digit wins, and I think 12 and 4, especially in the out of that division, I think he can get 12 wins. MVP of the division, it's a no-brainer. It's Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers might be the MVP of the league. So, so it's like him and Tom Brady, <laughs> like those are like no-brainer MVPs of their divisions because those two will be seriously one, two, like they'll be in the top five of the MVP category unless something catastrophic happened. But, yeah, he, MVP of the uh, division, enough said. The best rookie division, the rookie year division, I think is going to be Dalvin Cook. Because, like I said, they, I don't, we don't know what's going on with Teddy. We don't know if Teddy is going to come back. We don't know how much uh, Sam Bradford's going to play. I think they're going to put the ball in the hands of Dalvin Cook a lot. And he might have been the second best back in the draft. The best back in the draft might have been Joe Mixon. Because I had Joe Mixon being the rookie year they division. And I think he might have been the best back. Dalvin Cook is definitely the second I got a lot of backs rookie of their divisions. I, I had Christian McCaffrey, rookie of the NFC South. I had Leonard Fournette, the rookie, best rookie out of the AFC South. I had, like I said, um, I had Joe Mixon, the rookie out of the NFC North. Most time because the running backs going to get the ball a lot because they're going to get the the teams going to like try to take pressure off their quarterback and on their defense, so they're going to be running the ball. The outside Leonard Fournette. Uh, Mixon, uh, McCaffrey, and, and Cook, they're going to definitely use him in the passing game. I mean, they might use Leonard Fournette in the passing game, but definitely those other three, they're going to use them in the passing game for sure. And they're just going to get a lot of touches, and I think that they're going to, the ball's going to be, they're going to be using the ball a lot. So I, I really see them being these 
uh, best rookies of the divisions. Not saying they're going to be rookie of the years, but the best rookie of the division. And actually, Dalvin Cook and Joe Mixon might end up being rookie. You never know because of the way they get the ball. So to recap, I have the Packers. I have the uh, the Lions coming. In, um, sorry, I messed up. I have the Bears coming in last place at three and thirteen. I have the Vikings coming in third place at eight and eight. I have the Lions. I mean, the Vikings coming in third place at eight and eight. I have the Lions coming in uh, second place at nine and seven. And I have the Packers winning the division at twelve and four. I have Aaron Rodgers the MVP of the division. I have Dalvin Cook the rookie of the division. So, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. Comment below if you haven't. Click that bell to get more videos. If you disagree with me, if you have anything you need to say, you disagree with me, you think the Vikings going to win the division. If you think that uh, Matt Stafford is the best uh, uh, the MVP of the division, comment and let me know. I'll holler.